Today we get to begin our journey of learning the Yang style long form, which is 108 movements, and it's broken up into three distinct segments. Today we're going to learn the very first segment. Now we do Tai Chi because we want to get the benefits that Tai Chi provides. And one of the many proven benefits of learning Tai Chi is improvement in brain health, improvement in executive functioning. So learning something new like this, new movements, new patterns of movements, is going to be great for your brain health, which actually improvement in your executive functioning translates into improvement in your balance as well. So we'll have fun together learning the long form and we'll still be getting many of the benefits of Tai Chi. So now I'm going to assume as I'm teaching that you have some level of comfort with the short form. Remember the short form comes from the long form and it will be really fun as you learn the long form to see how the short form was put together and see the origins of those movements and the pattern of the short form. But I just want you to know I'm going to teach you the new movements, but I'm going to assume that you already know, for example, how to do brush knee. Now, don't be afraid just because the long form is 108 movements and the short form is 24, that doesn't mean that you have 84 new movements to learn, that that's not it. There are only about 13 new movements. What it really is, is just a different pattern, putting it together in a different way. Yes, there are a few new movements and you'll get to learn those along the way. Before we get started, for a warm up and to just kind of get back into your head the short form, we're going to do the short form together first. So remember, this is your warm up. Don't try to go too low. We won't go too slow on this. This is your warm up just to get you back into Tai Chi mode. So I want you to stand nice and tall, be relaxed, let your knees be soft, think about your head being suspended from the ceiling, keep your shoulders in harmony with your hips, take a nice deep breath in, breathe it out and sink down just a little bit and open. Preparation. Part the wild horse's mane. Part the wild horse's mane. Part the wild horse's mane. White crane spreads its wings. Brush knee left, brush knee right, brush knee left, play the guitar, repulse the monkey, Ward off, grasp the bird's tail, roll back, rotate and press, pushing chi, bringing the weight over to the right, back to the left, stepping out, ward off, grasp the bird's tail, roll back, Rotate and press, pushing chi, bringing the weight to the left, 
back to the right, forming a bird's beak, coming into a single whip. Wave hands like clouds. One more step. Forming a bird's beak and single whip. High pat on horse. Kick smash and box the ears. Turning, kicking left, snake creeps, pheasant stands, snake creeps, pheasant stands. Fair lady works the shuttle. Fair lady works the shuttle. Pick the needle up from the sea bottom. Fan through the back. Deflect, intercept and punch. Pushing chi. Return the tiger to the mountain. and close. So now in the first segment of the long form, we go in a linear fashion just like the short form. Once we get into the second and third segments, you'll find that we get to go in all different kinds of directions. But the first segment is just simply a linear movement. You will have one brand new movement, and then you'll have variation on a couple other movements. So let's start with learning that first brand new movement. It's called lifting hands, and it's very simple because it's the exact opposite of play the guitar. Instead of your left hand being up and play the guitar, your right hand is up and your left hand is pointing slightly towards your right elbow. Now when I do my lifting hands my right toe is up. When I do my play the guitar my left toe is actually down. It really doesn't matter if you want toe up or toe down on either one of these. The point is this leg is empty. That forward leg is empty. So lifting hands is your one brand new movement. It's pretty simple, right? From lifting hands, we go into white crane spreads its wings. Now if you think about in the short form, we've just done part the wild horse's mane left, we step up, and we move into our white crane spreads its wings, just like this. Then we do arm circles, take that ball of energy and we step into a brush knee left. That's the short form version. The long form version is just a little bit longer. <laughs> So you come into your lifting hands. Remember your right hand is up, left hand is pointing slightly towards that elbow. You're going to do arm circles right off the bat. You do it before you go into your white crane and you do it as you're coming out of it. Remember arm circles are the opposite motion of wave hands like clouds. Remember when we do our wave hands like clouds, our arms move in such a way that if we were to actually put our hands on our eyebrows, we would smooth out our eyebrows, correct? Arm circles are the opposite. If you add your hands actually on your eyebrows, you're gonna mess them up. That is if you still have eyebrows. So come into your lifting hands, 
Now you're going to start with your right hand here. You're going to start with arm circles. So that right hand starts like this, and the left actually travels with it, and you bring your right toe in. Weight stays on the left. Bring that right arm down. Then that left arm comes around, and you actually step out with that right foot. Bring the weight onto that right foot. Continue with those arm circles, and you do a quarter turn, and here is your white crane spreads its wings. Okay, so let's do that again. Come into your lifting hands. Start the arm circles with that right hand coming down and the left hand, they just kind of travel together. That right foot comes in, but it's still empty. Now as that left arm comes up, you step with the right, bring the weight to the right, do a quarter turn, and here's your white crane spreads its wings. So let's do that one more time. Come into your lifting hands. Start those arm circles, bring that right foot in. Continue the arm circles, step out with the right foot, bring the weight to the right. Quarter turn, that left toe is empty. White crane spreads its wings. Now continue those arm circles. Grab that ball of energy and you'll do a brush knee left, which is just like in the short form. So let's do that again. Lifting hands, start your arm circles, bring that right toe in, but it remains empty. Step out with that right, now the weight does come to the right, do a quarter turn, white crane spreads its wings. Continue those arm circles, and now do a brush knee left. Good. We're going to practice that one more time. Remember, lifting hands is your only brand new movement. Coming into white crane spreads its wings is a little different than the short form. And then we'll have a little different movement with ward off in just a second. But this lifting hands is your only brand new movement. Start those arm circles, bring that right foot in. Then step out with that right foot, bring the weight to the right, do a quarter turn, white crane spreads its wings. Continue your arm circles, come into a brush knee left. So now just like what I just alluded to on in the long form, when we do ward off, grasp the bird's tail, we only do the whole sequence on the right hand side. Now there is a left ward off, but that's all that it is, is a ward off. So I want you to hold your ball to the right, step out with the left, bring that left arm up and the right arm comes down, and this is your left ward off. Holding the ball to the right, step out, ward, left ward off. Now in some variations of the long form, they'll do that ward off and grasp the bird's tail. And I actually kind of like that, but that's not how I learned it. <laughs> so we're going to stay with the way I learned it first, and then we'll feel free to do other things if we want to. But, so we're just going to do the ward off. We're not going to complete the grasp the bird's tail on the left side. So try that one more time, holding the ball to the right, stepping out, left ward off. Now what happens is you bring your weight up onto that left, hold the ball to the left, and we do the whole ward off sequence. Grasp the bird's tail, roll back, Rotate and press, pushing chi. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually put the long form together. Believe it or not, you have all the pieces that you need. It does involve brush knee, it involves single whip, it involves play the guitar, deflect, intercept, and punch, but you know all those movements. 
We're just going to put them together in a slightly different pattern. Like I said, as far as room um, for you to move, you're going to start over here on your right and the long form will simply move to the left. You don't ever go backwards in the first segment. Okay, So make enough room so that you have enough room to simply go to your left in a straight line. So stand nice and tall. It starts just like the short form. Take a good deep breath in. Breathe it out, sinking down. Bringing the weight over to the right and open. Center yourself. Preparation. Now a slight change here. You're going to turn your body slightly to the right and hold the ball to the right. Weight's actually on that left right now, but now I'm going to switch my weight to the right and I'm going to step left towards the front mirror with that left ward off. Bring your weight up onto the left, holding the ball to the left, and now step out, ward off. Grasp the bird's tail. Roll back. Rotate and press. Pushing Chi. Bring your weight over to the left, just like you normally would. Bring it back to the right, forming a bird's beak and single whip. Now from this single whip, you're going to go into your lifting hands. So bring your weight to the right. Let your hands start to drop. Bring your weight to the left and come into your lifting hands. Remember your arm circles moves you into white crane spreads its wings. So bring that right hand down, the right foot in. Now step out with that right foot, bring the weight to the right, do a quarter turn, white crane spreads its wings. Continue those arm circles. Take that ball and now you're going to do a brush knee left. Step right to left and play the guitar. Now we're going to do brush knee three times. Brush knee left, brush knee right, brush knee left, stepping up, play the guitar. You do one more brush knee left, now form a fist with that right hand. Remember, Tai Chi fist is open and loose. Rock back. Bring your hands to your left hip. Bring the weight up onto your left foot. Step out with your right. Deflect. Intercept and punch. Pushing Chi. And now it looks like Return the Tiger to the Mountain. It's just not as deep. You turn towards the front, bring your weight to the right, then bring your weight to the left, and then center yourself. And this is called an apparent close. And that really is what it's called. It's an apparent close. It looks like you're closing the form, but you're not. You're just ending that first segment. So that's why it's called apparent close. So let's try that whole first segment one more time. Well, we'll do it more than one more time, but let's do it again. And now you know that with the knowledge of the short form, it really does help with learning this long form as well. So let's start over here. Take a nice deep breath in. Breathe it out, sinking down and open. Preparation. Now remember at the beginning, you are holding the ball to the right, but your weight comes to the left 
first and you do a little bit of a diagonal turn bring your weight up onto the right and then you step left with a left ward off then bring your weight up onto that left holding the ball to the left step out and do the whole sequence ward off grasp the bird's tail roll back rotate and press pushing chi bringing your weight to the left, bringing it back to the right, forming a bird's beak, and single whip. Now we move into our lifting hands. Bring your weight to the right, let the arms start to drop, bring your weight to the left, come into lifting hands. Remember that right leg is empty. Start your arm circles, bring that right foot back, then step out, bring the weight onto the right, Quarter turn, white crane spreads its wings. Continue those arm circles. Come into a brush knee, left. Step up, play the guitar. Remember that left foot is empty. That's the important piece because now you're going to do a brush knee left again. Brush knee right. Brush knee left. Stepping up, play the guitar. One more, brush knee left. Form a fist with that right hand. Rock back, bring your hands to your left hip. Bring the weight up onto that left. Step out right, deflect. Intercept and punch. Pushing Chi. Now turning over that right shoulder, bring the weight to the right, to the left, and then center yourself into your apparent close. Good, so let's do it again. And let your body just relax and it knows some of the movements. And I know your brain's on fire of trying to remember what's next, but that's why it's important to practice this next week. So take a nice deep breath in. Breathe it out, sinking down. And open. Preparation. Holding the ball to the right, even though your weight's on your left, because now the weight comes to the right. And then we step left with a left ward off. Holding that ball to the left, ward off. Grasp the bird's tail. Roll back. Rotate and press. Pushing chi. Bringing your weight to the left, bring it back to the right, forming a bird's beak, and single whip. Let your weight come to the right. Let your hands start to drop. Bring your weight to the left, stepping into your lifting hands. Now bring that right foot back as you start your arm circles. Step out with the right, bring the weight to the right, do a quarter turn, white crane spreads its wings. Continue those arm circles. Brush knee left. Step up, play the guitar. Brush knee left. Brush knee right. Brush knee left. Step up, play the guitar. One more brush knee left, forming a fist, rock back, bring the weight onto that left, step out right, deflect, intercept and punch, pushing chi. Coming into your apparent close by turning over that right shoulder, centering your weight. 
So that's the first segment of the long form. And while it is the easiest of the three segments, I'll, I will be very honest with you, you still need to practice so that you get this pattern into your head, different from the short form. But you can see where the pieces, some of the pieces of the long form come, or the short form come from, right? You have your brush knee left, brush knee right, brush knee left, stepping up, play the guitar. That is all in the first segment of the long form, and that's it, all exactly in the short form. What do we do here in the short form is we go into our repulse the monkey, right? Because we're actually going to travel backwards, but we don't do that yet in the long form. So I'm sure that we have some questions with learning something new. Um, go ahead. What's the first question? Uh, getting lost after the fourth brush knee, form fist, and slap two. Sure yes. Okay. So the question was, I'm getting lost after that fourth brush knee, and it's actually the fifth brush knee, but that's okay, we'll go into it. Um, going into your deflect, intercept, and punch. So let's start, uh, we're going to start a little bit further back. We're going to start with our white crane. Start those arm circles. So here's your first brush knee. Then you step up, play the guitar. Then you do brush knee left. This is your second. Here's your third brush knee, brush knee right. Here's your fourth brush knee. But you step up here and play the guitar. So then that fifth brush knee is after the play the guitar. Brush knee left. This is where you form a fist. Rock back, bring your hands to your left hip. Now bring the weight up onto that left, so your right leg is empty. Step out with that right, deflect, intercept, and punch. Pushing chi, and then coming into your apparent close. So let's do that again with You've just come into your white crane spreads its wings. Do your arm circles and now brush knee left. Step up, play the guitar. Now you do your sequence of three brush knees. Brush knee left, brush knee right, brush knee left, you step up, play the guitar again. You do one more brush knee left. This is where you form that fist. Your weight should be forward just a little bit on that left. So now you have to rock back, bring your weight to the right, bring your hands to your left hip. Now bring your weight up onto that left, step out with the right, deflect, intercept, and punch, pushing chi. Now turning over that right shoulder, bring the weight to the right, then bring it back to the left, and then center yourself into your apparent close. So after that brush knee left, that last brush knee left, you're here Coming into your brush knee, you simply make that fist, rock back, it's that weight shift that's important, bring the weight onto that left, then step out with the right, deflect, intercept, and punch, pushing chi, and apparent close. Okay, good. Do we have any other questions? You know, and I'm sure as you practice, uh, there's going to be more questions. 
And certainly as we go through the journey of learning the whole long form, you will have questions. And that's also why I'm really recommending, if you're not part of that video membership site, you really need to sign up for it so that you can replay these videos and you can watch and practice with them. Because as we get through 108 movements, you're going to want that reinforcement. All of our certification members, that video membership site is part of their um, membership as certified members. So if you're in the certification program, you don't have, you already have access to that video membership site. If you're not part of the certification uh, program, you do need to sign up. TaiChiSystem.com and it's just the Learn Tai Chi Online. It will help you get to that video membership site. You get seven days for free anyway, so try it out. But you are going to want to have this as we go through this journey of learning the long form. So practice, practice, practice. You're already through the first segment of the long form. We will start with the second segment next week. We'll review the first segment, but we'll start getting into the second segment. It will take longer than one session of Tai Chi Live, however, to get through that second segment. Don't be frustrated with yourself. Remember, you're helping your brain improve. So I look forward to seeing you next week. See you later. Thank you.